today is the beginning of day two on the big dig. We uh, got down around two and a half, three feet in this pit that we opened up. The plan today is going to be uh, go deep, see if we can find bedrock, and we're just gonna go for it. Uh, we're gonna have to um, do some buckets. I think uh, the high banker's a little bit too high for us to shovel into now, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, shovel into little two and a half gallon buckets and then uh, bring them up and and kind of uh, process it as we go there. And we're just gonna hope we hit bedrocks or scrape it anyways. We're on the inside bend. It's an old bench. There's nice river rock. The boulders are they're getting bigger. The rocks are getting bigger as we go down a little bit lower. So. I guess that's a good sign. So, hey, it's the caribou, and we're uh, digging a big hole. So, you never know what's going to be at the bottom of it. So, can't wait. So, after day one, here's our open pit. It's probably just a little bit below three feet deep. Today, the plan is to go deeper because that's where the gold is. Gold doesn't move up. So we're just gonna get set up here. I'm just shoveling into buckets and then throwing in the whole high banker there and down she goes. There's a nice settling pond over there. Look at this tailing pile. Looks awesome. But anyways, my, my uh, camera's about to die so I'm going to switch over to the phone and I will update you a little later. We just break for lunch, had a quick look, didn't see any huge nuggets, and it's funny, all you know, the, the tailings went off and the pond that was there almost immediately sunk into the ground and disappeared. It's kind of neat. What do you think, Holly? Where's the gold? Holly, where's the gold? We got a shaker table. And we got a really big sluice box here with some gr grizzly bars. And then check this out. It's all made out of wood here. And look at that, it's all homemade bars there. The traps are huge. Big, made out of plastic. 
and that water flows down, comes out, goes down again. This is expanded metal and looks like outdoor carpeting that you get on a deck. Big gigantic grizzly bars. And this is the valley that they're working. Let's go up the road and see where it takes us. We're high up on the on the road here, on the cutout. It looks to be rounded rock. And there's some spots of mineralization, it looks like. Mm. Or that spray paint. Take a walk here through the Barkerville Cemetery. It's early, drizzly morning. There's a new part of the cemetery and an old part. I think we'll go through the old part. guy here is with his wife. They must have planted a tree on this guy's grave. 42 years old. Died in 1870. And look at the tree now. Well, we are in the Barkerville town site again, and it is raining like it did last time. Actually, it's really raining. So we're just gonna give her to the bakery and maybe have a bagel. If you guys really wanna see uh, Barkerville, I shot a video of it last year. I think you can, uh, we'll try to put a link right about there for you. Hey, right, let's find something hot to eat. This is pretty cool in Jasper National Park. We're getting close to the Columbia Ice Fields. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I just got home and my dog hasn't seen me for a week. 
So let's see how she reacts here. Oh. Hi, Jean. Hi. Did you did you miss me? Huh? 